Vale, pues hemos marcado aquí el buen teleport Así que vamos un momentito a desbloquearlo Ah, no, creo que este está arriba, ¿no? Ah, pero por aquí podemos subir, vale Digo, por lo menos aprovecho Y voy teniendo los teletransportadores Porque poca broma, pero es que esto es enorme O sea, es enorme What? Port Ormos is pretty great There's so many new and interesting things Sumeru's largest commercial port Sure lives up to its name No todo el mundo diría yo How did things end up? All thanks to your artistic... But when I finished the prototype, are not Well... Oh, what should we do? Whoa. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. A ver, ¿qué pasa? Esto tiene pinta de evento. Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and he's a traveler who is just passing by. Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Prototype Aranara? Uh, you mean this wood carving here? Suena a nombre de arma. No, no. The prototype Aranara is something that brings joy and laughter to children. Not the first negative feed. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So, for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. Hola. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys. Hasta que los niños adoran las historias. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we didn't. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? Champignon. Es como los rotoides del Animal Crossing. I can't quite describe it though. Vale, pues vamos a preguntar a los niños a ver qué les parecen los prototipos estos tan chulos. Hola niños, ¿qué pensáis de los prototipos? ¿Qué os parecen? ¿Os molan? ¿Os parecen brutales o qué? Contadme. No es un Aranara. No way. I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the ill little fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tonder said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. It's nothing like an Aranara. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Kasid and Ollie I didn't like this carving. But I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Oh, a positive review! Yeah, so I would totally ask my dad to get it for me, if it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. Vale, la valoración es que os ha salido mal el negocio, algo estáis haciendo mal. How did it go? Uh, has it maybe uh? Grown on them Lo all? siento, pero no. Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondarvaville yet? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra. Es el señor Uncle Tondra is a famous ah, de cuartos, vale. here in Port Lo, lo he leído, no sé dónde. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something. And suddenly, the children loved every one of his stories. Well, that's right. My little Gafari loves his stories, too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among... We asked Tanja for guidance. But right after he agreed, he went off to Gondarvaville with his son to look for inspiration. Pues ahora que allí. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imaginations. As you can see... This as a result. Oh, we have to do something. Hey, 
Since you're the famous traveler, could you? Uh, he doesn't vale, vale, iremos a buscar al señor Tanger. Pero la música se ha puesto a tope, ¿eh? Bien, lo haré por los niños. Vale, pues parece que este ya lo tenemos, así que entiendo que esto es el tema de la misión aquí de del evento, ¿no? Y bueno, nuestro siguiente objetivo será, en este caso, venir aquí cerca del bosque de Avidya, ¿vale? A este teletransportado aquí para venir cerca de Villa Gard, Gand Harbor. También podemos ir por el otro lado, pero el teletransportador que os estoy mostrando es el camino, creo que, más rápido para este objetivo. Así que nada, aquí recordad que también tenéis alguna misioncilla ya de estas chulas que vamos a ir desbloqueando y demás. Pero de momento, nosotros vamos a centrarnos en el objetivo, ¿vale? Vamos a ir por aquí y de paso ya os digo que vamos a poder acabar con estos silichurlios. Para conseguir un cofre, pero primero vamos a la misión. Ahora veremos. Ahí atrás hay un tío con perros. Hey buddy, what's your name? What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gandarvaville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rozzy. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gandarvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> Vaya. <laughs> hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Es Colei. Vale, pues nada, parece que Colei es el personaje que teníamos que conocer aquí. Y por suerte, como ya sabéis, todo este evento nos permitirá conseguir a Colei de manera gratuita. Así que la cosa viene bien. You seem kind of busy, though. Um, I'll be fine. What a well-mannered child. No podemos ignorarle sin más. Sands? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Hehe. <laughs> Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R stories too? Of course. I love them. Oh, people who like Aranara are the best. <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secret to a tree hollow. Thanks. <laughs> vale. Oh, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow, Coley's so good with kids. Eres una guardabosque realmente responsable, Coley. <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? No, nada de eso. Le explicamos todo lo que hemos descubierto en, okay. la, en el lugar de la artesanía. So... Looking for a children's author from Port Omos called Tanja, and he's here in Gandarvaville. I'm looking for inspiration. Uh, wait, when you say Tanja, do you mean the Tanja? That's right, Uncle Tanja. Vale. So he's in the area, looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak. This is amazing. Can you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razi back to Gandarvaville and then I'll be right back. 
I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. <sighs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Rosie, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Tanja's your dad! As in hey. Tanja's son? Uh-huh. Ah! Paimon sees! That guy at Akara Crass told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Rosie! Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... <laughs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, Bye, yeah. In that case, we should take you back to Gondarville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. Vale, pues parece que aquí ya tenemos lo que hacer con Gracie. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Vale. Yay! Thanks, Rosie. I meant that we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Genial. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja. Oh. Bueno. Pues vamos a conocer al señor Tanger. Y con esto ya nos desbloqueamos a Colei. Nos la dan así de fácil, como habéis podido ver. Es una manera muy fácil de conseguir un personaje. Y mmm, lo que digo, creo que es algo que puede ayudar muchísimo ¿no? a mejorar cualquier equipo. Vamos a ir a, obviamente a por él. Pero primero vamos a aprovechar un momentito y vamos a ver a Colei. ¿vale? Por si no os la habéis sacado con el banner, lo que digo, aquí te la dan a lo fácil. Vamos a subirla un poquito de nivel ahí a lo rapidillo. Así, y de, vamos a poner esto así. Perfecto Material de ascensión, como podéis ver, me falta El del espanto hongo, que es el nuevo jefe que ya hemos derrotado y ya os he enseñado Así que esto es fácil, luego la extenderé Pero como personaje es lo que digo, es una arquera que os tengo que explicar que merece muchísimo la pena, ¿vale? O sea, os va a molar, os va a flipar y es bastante buena Vale, aquí está que tenemos una misión de la persecución de los Ichur, vamos a pasar de ella Y nosotros vamos a intentar hablar con el señor Tanger, pero primero por aquí, a ver mucho esta zona porque si está esto es porque hay un a ver dónde este endróculo yo no lo veo o sea os lo digo en serio pero bueno, nosotros vamos a por el objetivo La lío La lío, la lío Vamos a ir por aquí Literalmente esto servía para explorarnos todo el pueblo Por lo que estoy viendo Que está arriba, espérate. A ver. Vamos a tener que escalar un poco entonces. Uf. El único problema que le veo a Sumeru, que. A ver, que no es que sea un problema, pero sí que es verdad que pasa mucho. Que por ejemplo, con el tema de tanto verde y todo esto, muchas veces me pierdo. O sea, veo cosas que digo, ¿what? ¿Qué está pasando aquí? A ver. Uf, vamos para arriba, vale. Ah, pero esto estaba cerrado, ¿no? El camino este. Claro, a ver. El camino este está cerrado y aquí me va a tocar dar la vuelta, ¿no? Por... Por este teletransportador, creo. Porque... A ver. Es que está ahí arriba, sí. Sí, sí, no, nos va a tocar dar la vuelta. Eso entiendo que en algún momento después de esta misión algo se desbloqueará, pero de momento vamos a venir con el TP y vamos a hacer las cositas despacito, pero bien. Lo bueno que ya tenemos a Colei, tenemos una cosita más hecha, ya se me falta Dori, así que vamos a ver. Y aquí está buscando Tanger a Reishi. Hola. Oh, Rosy. Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beast scare you? Did the stars guide your way? I'm okay. 
all thanks to their help. Thank Gracias. You. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold-hearted Spino Crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. Vaya, eh, o sea, palabrería buena. Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. Ah, o sea, que estos son tres. I love them too. Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Sí. Hmm. Okay then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? It's uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. Vaya. Wow. Kai looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, hey Kai, are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. Kai is emotional. I can feel I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes. The moment I saw you, the image of an aura giant and an aura finch traveling Yo Ah, excellent improvisation. Yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Paimon's not a finch. That's nothing to get excited about. Dejemos las bromas para otro momento. Vamos a ver qué pasa aquí. Vale, le contamos lo que ha pasado en la artesanía a cara. A car crafts. Oh, oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away, over perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was Como a raging tempest. Como que se fraguen en Puerto Tánger. Um, what? Yo tampoco. Pirate, what should we do? Do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Gracias, Raisi. Oh, that's what he meant. Well, there it is. All the... Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanger, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something. But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Parisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjur, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest, conclusively proving that Aranara not only fin, exists in stories, but in real life too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex a Kara Crash will be untangled in Meanwhile. Y que liderar la Academia de Sumeru. Madre mía, cómo se está yendo a Tanger aquí la olla. Bueno, parece que no. Todo el mundo piensa igual que yo. Vamos a ver a qué van esos indicios de actividad Aranana, Ana, Aranara. What's important in a story? The great storyteller Tanger never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me. Vale, pues vamos con él. Nada, me está gustando la historieta, ¿eh? <risa> ¿Qué ocurre? Se refiere al secreto que Raisi no quiso contarnos. No sé de qué va esto, pero aquí lo que vemos es que, bueno, la figura está por aquí, está cerca de la cosa. Pero voy a hacer un pequeño cambio en mi equipo, ¿vale? Voy a ponerme aquí a nuestra querida Colei. Por el hecho de que me parece interesante, aunque perdamos a Yoimiya en estos momentos en el equipo, mmm, quiero probar a Colei. Ya que es un personaje que está muy roto, ¿vale? Ya, ya os lo digo. Para ser un 4 estrellas viene muy bien, si no, si no tenéis ningún arquero predeterminado tochísimo como Yoimiya Ganyu. Me parece muy buena opción a nivel Just jugable. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. Ya yeah, hay notas, ¿no? This is just an ordinary tree hollow. I'm not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Um, I'm not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, let's start by investigating. 
Vale. Pues vamos a investigar. Una nota. Es imposible recordar nombres de tantos champiñones. Vale. Aquí hay otra nota. Este árbol es mi castillo. Vale, y por último... Me encantaría ser una nana inteligente. Eh, vale, es un poco raro, pero ahora ya podemos hablar con Tanner. Investigamos esto aquí y vamos al lío. ¡Uy! A ver. Me mola, me mola mucho eso. El boomerang. Bueno, ah, ahora hay dos colegas. ¿Cómo se siente ser witness de una descubrimiento de descubrimiento? Exciting, ¿no es? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tiene de descubrimiento? <risa> Parece la nota de un niño. Ah, no, 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 The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it The Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. <risa> Para nada. Many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. ¿Te encuentras bien, Colei? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little overwhelming. Eh, no creo que vaya por ahí, Tanger. Oh, yes. Yes. Bueno. Overwhelming. <risa> for now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry. I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. Pues sí, eso parece Paimon. I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja. In Aranara and the Three Little Fungus, it says that Aranara are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Eso verdad? Oh, was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. Pues nada, ya continuaremos aquí la aventura. Ahora hay que ir al campamento, así que vamos allá y si eso pues descansaremos. Vale, y ahora ya sabéis, hay que hacer que sean la, entre las 12 de la noche y las 4 de la mañana. Esto es fácil, por ejemplo, venimos aquí, ¿vale? Yo pongo las 2 y algo y ya debería de bastar para poder descansar en el campamento y ver un poco lo que puede ocurrir ahora, ¿no? Vamos allá. Ahí está. ¿Qué ocurre? Yo también me di cuenta. Pues nada, parece que tenemos que buscar a Coley. Cosas que pasan. Vamos allá. So Kali came back here alone. Is she waiting for the RNR to show up? And I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it, or that I would run into the traveler and Paimon. <laughs> If I'd known, I would have just told the tree hollow instead of writing it down. Now I've created a whole new problem for myself. Mm. Ah, ha sido ella la que ha escrito las notas. Oh, no, 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 that won't work. 
I should be writing something that an r and would never say. Oh. But what should I write? Oh, I've got it. There's no way Tantra could see this as the work of an Aranara. So the evidence of Aranara activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of God. <laughs> sí, eso parece. But why didn't she just tell Tantra? Porque no quiero romper la ilusión, digo yo. Es su secreto. Oh, right. Kale told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does, and now she even writes it down. Seguro que tiene sus motivos. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Vale. A la mañana del día siguiente, Tanger nos lleva de vuelta al hueco del árbol, y parece que aquí continúa nuestra pequeña aventura. Así que vamos a venir aquí y a ver qué pasa. Hola, Tanger. ¿Qué qué, qué ha pasado? Una nueva nota. Just as I expected. Yes, yes. It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what can it be? A ver qué dice. Uh, I want to visit Monstead during the Ludi Harpastum again? No, that, that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah, if you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No, no, I refuse to believe it. Bueno, pues no te lo creas, pero... Hmm. I can't. ¿Por qué ayudar a la artesanía? Que hemos venido por ello. Cinco minutos, son cinco minutos, no es más, Tanger. Confiamos plenamente en ti, Tanger. No. I can't do it. Pues nada. I thought that if I could find an R&R, I'd be able to help a car crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. Ay, Dios mío. No está costando, eh? But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real R&R, right? I <sighs> Rosie, you tell them. Oh, oh. Really? Yes. Por fin vamos a saber la verdad. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon, do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? Lo recuerdo. I didn't want to tell anyone the secret, but it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So, I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Uh, what? Hold on. El, so if Reishi. Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then who? It was me. Ahí está. Dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and strange uh metaphors i think they're called but dad kept on going telling his stories again and again oh, one time he even borrowed a camera from lord sangema bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of sumero's best storyteller early in his career even though i only had zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to i was happy Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. 
I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly. It's not only Rosie. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling. Like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rosie so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, Dedicated to my dearest Rosie. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R&R &R to look like a secret. Wait! Paimon gets it now! To sum up, all of Uncle Tanjir's fairy tales were actually stories written by Rosie! And because Razi didn't want Tanjir to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Maya. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Razi. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Razi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and... be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? You want me to help Akara Crafts with their carving? Well, I did mention what the r and look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. Vale. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Sumeru is so much bigger. Pues parece que vamos a tener todavía que hacer cositas. Me está gustando la historia, es lo que digo. Aparte que nos dan a Colei y es un evento que luego de estos los quitan, entonces es una historia que te pierdes si no lo haces al momento. Creo que merece la pena porque es una historia interesante de Razi, de su padre, el tema de todo lo de los Anara y al final está muy bien. Yo creo que esta la dejarán loco, ¿eh? This is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, Kale. Vale. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to... You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel <laughs> so much better. <sighs> yeah. It's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt. But when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? Ya la has con ella. Ya te pillado que eras tú las notas. I just... Uh... Just passed by once. Never mind that. Antes tenía que haber espera. En fin. Let's go, Rosie. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Come on, Dad. Me encanta. Es lo que digo. Esto es la aventura pura. O sea, Rosie, es un no parar. And watch your step. En marcha. Ha estado ahí, ha estado ahí. Me está molando. 
Y ahora supongo que volveremos allí, ¿no? Aquí está el agrotipo, ¿vale? Encontramos todo tipo de especies, las cuales podemos... Eh, vale. Vale. Ah, pero esto es otra misión diferente, ¿no? O sea, es como... A ver... Ah, vale, vale. O sea, ahora después de esto van las exitosas fibras de madera. Vale, vale, vale. O sea, a ver... Voy a hacerlo en diferentes vídeos porque creo que realmente son diferentes misiones aunque siguen una historia de esta especie de evento para lo de Colei. Pero bueno, en el próximo vídeo veremos obviamente la siguiente parte de la misión. Espero que os haya gustado, que lo hayáis pasado en grande como siempre. Soy Jos Herrero, esto es KTS y nos vemos en la próxima viajeros. ¡Adiós!